you suggest any dietary restrictions or supplements to avoid or try? Um, yeah. there's, another, there's another question that's related. So if you don't mind, I'll ask that as well. What diets and supplements would you recommend? It's a similar question. Yeah, I mean, the, on the honest answer is there is no dietary intervention that's been shown, in my view, to alter the prognostic course of PSC. So, of course, you know, we focus on trying to maintain a healthy liver mm -hmm. and maintaining a healthy body weight. And that's because, as you know, sadly, some people do become and do progress to liver transplantation with PSC. And we want them to be in the best health they can if they do. I mean, obviously, during uh, evaluation in the clinic, we do because one thing that can happen with PSC and it can often happen. So, I mean, when you get PSC and you get alterations in bile flow through the liver and let's use a posh word, let's call that cholestasis. You'll often hear doctors talk about cholestasis and that's due to alterations in bile flow through the liver. Um, things can happen. So, for example, one thing can happen is bones can get thinner. Um, as you know, your bones are, are essentially a, a sort of a network of intraticate sort of what's called trabeculae, little shelves of bone. And as bones get thinner, you can get what's called osteopenia and osteoporosis. So some people say that about 10, 12 percent of people with PSC could develop, you know, formal osteoporosis and be at risk of developing fractures of the bone. Perhaps 30 to 40 percent of people might even develop a stage before that bone thinning that hasn't got severe enough for doctors to call osteoporosis. So checking vitamin D is important in the clinic and supplementing that. Um, you know, in, if there's if you ask me, they're rigorous trials, but that seems to be good bone health mm. uh, in terms of when people be, if people develop jaundice. Let's say that the flow of bile through the liver becomes severely impaired and they develop jaundice, particularly those patients that are waiting for transplants. We do check for to see if they're not got low vitamins of A and, other, and K, and sometimes we have to supplement those. So I don't think, I can't think of any data that supports the use of any dietary intervention in PSC, but we do check things such as vitamins in the clinic because they're related to alterations in bile flow and they can be important in the different parts of a patient's PSC journey.